Hey, it's Zach here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make bass drops in any version of Cubase. Okay, mm. let's get started. Well, hey there, little Billy. I see you got yourself a spoon. Well, do you know where that spoon came from? And now, you can hear a really obnoxious tone. <laughs> a test of endurance and strength. And honor. And now it's not muted, so if we play back the song... That wasn't quite a bass drop, and we hit the show hide automation, and we're gonna change it from volume to mute. Oh, okay, stop, 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 stop it! So I'm gonna go ahead and play it back. Yeah, that's it. Go ahead, have fun, make bass drops everywhere. Hello, my name is Ben, and today I will be showing you five tips to make your mixes sound better. Not everyone has a million dollars to invest in a very good studio like mine. See how the pros are balancing their mixes to give yourself a frame of reference. What seems to be the problem of this earth? Think of mixing like building a sculpture. When you're given a block of cement to carve a person out of, you don't start by adding arms, legs, then a head. What you do is you look at the block of cement and see how you can carve cement away to leave you with a beautiful naked man. Listen to your mix through as many different sound systems as possible. A shitty car stereo is a good place to start. Get a couple close friends to critically listen to your songs as well. Oftentimes your friends will pick out details that you might not have even noticed before. This song sucks. I am going home. Why can't I get a good tone? I need like a super tone pedal or something. I wonder what's for dinner. Hey everybody, and welcome to another Sony Vegas tutorial. Today, we're going to be showing you how to match your Sony Vegas project settings with your video footage properties. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Sony Vegas now. So the first thing we're going to do is figure out what kind of footage we have. So what you can see is we have these two black bo lines boxes here. So we're going to match it now. All right, and to do this, we're going to go up to the top of Sony Vegas, click on file, go to properties and then we're going to input the values from when we right clicked on our footage and saw what the properties of the footage was until next time my friends I am Ben goodbye